Hello, I'm Tyrone Campbell with the Denver Police Department. I am joined by Julie Hogan, who is the Public Information Officer for Rose Medical Center. So we're going to give you an overview of um, our current status here. At approximately 4.17 p.m., the Denver Police Department uh, received calls that came in um, in regard to shots fired. Seconds later, that call was dispatched out to our officers, and less than three minutes after it being dispatched, our first officers arrived on scene. Uh, we were joined by a number of different agencies that were providing support. Uh, we have the Denver Police Department here. We have members of the Denver Fire Department. We have uh, hospital security staff here. We have Denver Public Schools here. We have various medical um, agencies that are standing by, and we had federal agencies on, on scene. We conducted a zone-by-zone zone, systematic search of the facility. Um, we did not locate a suspect or a victim. However, at present, we are going back and uh, doing some additional searching of some of those areas. As we do that, we are systematically releasing various zones of the hospital. As we're doing our search, we're systematically releasing various zones of the hospital. Uh, those are controlled um, exits from the hospital, and we are uh, allowing people to leave uh, as they see fit. Again, this is an ongoing situation. We are still conducting some searches of the hospital facility, um, and we will be releasing those as, as we see fit. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Hogan here for some additional questions that you may have from the hospital and then I'll take some questions. I'm Julie Hogan with Rose Medical Center. Um, as we told you before, there was a campus-wide lockdown, no one in, no one out. During that time, all employees and staff were in a shelter-in-place position where they could stay safe. That has now been lifted, now that the lockdown is lifted. As you've heard, they are systematically being allowed to leave the hospital through the main entrance. Um, but it is going slowly by design, um, but everyone is safe. To our night shift employees, please, your standby is lifted. Please go ahead and come into the hospital, but park in the founder's lot and come in through the executive parking lot and the badge door only. So thank you, all patients and employees have been safe throughout this process. Mr. Campbell, there was reports of shots fired. Did you ever confirm that shots were fired? And there was also video that was said, surveillance video, that was reportedly seen of a man with a rifle. Were there shots fired, and what about that video? This is an ongoing investigation. So even at the conclusion of our search here, um, this will continue to be an ongoing investigation. We have detectives who will be responding to it, um, and they'll, they'll investigate every possibility. But as I said, this is still a systematic search in progress. We wanted to make sure that we provided you with timely information. Uh, we understand that people have loved ones that are here at the hospital. We have, understand that people have staff that are family that is here at the hospital. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that everyone received information in a timely fashion. But we're not done. We are in the process of still conducting some additional searches. But like I said, we're freeing those zones up in a systematic fashion. But, but at the conclusion of that, uh, it'll continue uh, to be investigated. Were there shots fired that you know of? It's still under investigation. Do you know if your shot spotter picked anything up today? I'm unsure, but that's something that will be under investigation as well. Have any bullet holes been found? We're not going to talk about the details uh, as it relates to the actual investigation, but I can say that our detectives are going to look at everything. Uh, if we clear here and we don't find anything that causes us to, to respond in an active fashion, uh, it'll be turned over to the investigators and they'll be looking at all of those things that they can utilize. Are you uh, expecting this to last all night long? It's going to last as long as it lasts. Um, I would love to tell you that we have a time frame in mind, but our job is not to do it quickly, it's to do it correctly. And earlier you gave a lot of the media a description of a suspect. Do you still want us to you put that on our online? And By all means, that's still a person of interest. We're still trying to determine exactly what the status of that person is. Um, so if we have information that comes in or anybody out there has information that we can Hello, utilize, everybody. we encourage people to call in and let us know. As you cleared the campus, have you heard from more people that maybe saw something? We're not going to talk about statements of people that are being released. How many rooms are being searched? It's the entire campus. It's a uh, very large facility. Do so we, I can't can you, tell you the square footage. Can you give us a number of rooms that police have to go through to do this? No, I'm sorry, I can't. 
Is it, like, it is campus wide. More, more than one building? It's, it's campus, campus wide. wide. How many people do you believe are still in there? They, we're going on almost four hours now since, since this all began. We're not going to comment on that. All I can say is that systematically um, we're releasing the zones as, as we find them safe. Are you escorting people to their cars? We're escorting people from the facility. From the facility to their cars? Again, some of that's operational, but I can say that we're uh, escorting people in a safe fashion and making sure that they get to a place where they can they can leave the facility. Are you taking new patients or are the people there receiving care inside? The hospital, go ahead. Is ER, ER open? Uh, patients should, if they're headed to the hospital, should at this point head to an open hospital nearby. We'll have more information on that at a certain point, but right now it's probably wise to head to a nearby hospital. Were there surgeries taking place when this happened? I can't speak to that. We are obviously observant. We can tell that some police have left, some ambulance have left. Obviously, are you? So as we, again, some of this is operational, but as we get uh, into a more detailed uh, search, we're going to release some of those non-essential personnel because we still have a responsibility to the citizens of Denver. This is not the only situation or, or call that's come into our dispatch. So we have to make sure we address those. Uh, but thank you very much. Um, please look at our Twitter feed because that's where you're going to be seeing updated information. Um, and if we get any significant changes in this event here, we'll come out and do another briefing. Uh, but absent of that, all the information will come through uh, that channel. So thank you. Thank you.